There's nothing worse than spending time and money driving traffic to your website only to find that your website isn't converting those clicks and those visitors into leads and sales. In this video, I'm gonna show you three of the biggest conversion killers that will destroy your chances of actually converting visitors into sales. Let's get into it. The first big problem I see is people using dull, lengthy contact forms on their website. Gone are the days where people want to be filling out long forms, right? It's all about speed and convenience now. You only need to look at the likes of Amazon, Uber, and Netflix to realize we live in a world where we crave that convenience. We crave speed and ease of use. So you really want to be making it as easy as possible for your customers to contact you. Don't ask for more information that you need, right? I see this so many times where contact forms are asking for things like date of birth, address, email address, name, last name, like, you don't need all of that information. Maybe in some industries, there are particular things that you need to ask for, and that's okay. One of the things that's just worth bearing in mind, though, is like really ask yourself, like what's the minimum, what's the minimum amount of information I can take up front? Because you will find the more contact fields that you have someone, to, somebody has to fill out to get in touch with you, the less likely they are to convert, right? So a really good idea about this is kind of reframing a lot of the time some of these things as well. So instead of, for example, having a whole contact form, what we've done for some of our clients is actually put a call me back button on the website, right? Where all we're collecting is their name and their contact number, right? The, the details that people, that the company would actually need to call this person back. That is all we need at this stage. We don't even need an email address. Or on the contact form, again, keep it very simple. Maybe it's just a name, business name, email address, or even name and email address. You really want to try and make this as easy as possible for people to contact you. Now, the next huge conversion killer is a poorly optimized header or just a lack of any kind of hook overall when people come onto the website. Because what we found here after looking at the data on hundreds of websites over the past couple of years is that a lot of people will not even scroll past the main above the fold content on your website. And above the fold is basically what people can see on the screen without them having to scroll. So it's really, really important you have a captivating hook that speaks into the pain points and the solution that you offer your potential customers. There is no space here for error. There is no space here for trying to be smart or clever and using, you know, big fancy words in your headline, right? You need to be getting crystal clear and straight to the point as to what you offer your customers. What is the pain that you are protecting people or saving people from? And what is the end destination that you take them to? And again, even looking at things here like, you know, a lot of companies say, we're an award winning this, we're an award winning that. Nobody cares. What you need to remember is when people come onto a website, they do not care about your business at that moment in time. All they care about is their problem, right? We're selfish. All we care about is what we, what is in it for me, right? When I'm coming onto a website, that is what I'm asking myself. So good for you that you've got awards. What does that mean for me? Tell me, are you going to deliver me from this pain I've got? Do you even understand the pain that I've got? And I, are we aligned in this end destination that I want to get to, right? So you really need to make sure that first bit of above the fold content on your website is actually giving people a hook for them to want to read on. You can then start by showing things like some, you know, credibility and social proof, displaying awards or testimonials from customers. But that initial section needs to be giving a compelling hook for people. Now there's a very basic yet effective formula you can use for crafting your own compelling hook for your website header. And that goes as follows. We help audience achieve desired outcome without major pain point, 
right? So you're speaking to those three core elements that you actually help people with, right? So who is the audience? You're calling them out straight away. You're then going into the desired outcome. So people resonate, they, they can see there's some future pacing, they can see where they want to get to. And then you're speaking into their current pain points that they're having, right? So this can be a really good way to just grab people's attention initially when they come onto your website without confusion, without ambiguity, and get them to continue reading the rest of your website and taking action. Now, the next biggest conversion killer is just having no real call to action on the website, right? A lot of people will fill their website with information about them and they'll then have a contact form that they just expect people to click on. It might sound obvious, you might expect that people would just figure it out and click on the contact form, but you will be amazed how much just having strong call to actions on your website saying, click here, sign up today, how much of a difference that can actually make on your conversion rate. We've seen websites that have literally gone from getting zero conversions to getting over 10 leads a day just by having a strong call to action on the website. And you want to make sure this is consistent throughout your site. Now, an example of this could be that you are grounding people in the cost of inaction, right? What's going to happen if they don't contact you today, if they let this problem that they have go on any longer? Right. And for e-commerce stores, for example, they may want to use things like countdown timers to incentivize deals, offers and things like that. Whatever you can do to to bring in those compelling calls to actions. Maybe it's like limited stock, limited time availability. If you're a service based business, again, maybe grounding people in what is the cost of them not taking action today. Right, like how bad is this problem going to get for them? And repeating that call to action. Get in touch today, get a free quote today, and try your best to make this as compelling as possible and really making sure that you have an offer that is enticing for your audience. Really think about how you can stack this up. And when you look at your competitors' websites, what can you offer differently? What can you offer over and above to really separate yourselves and make people want to click on your website instead of just browsing straight over to a competitor's? So there you have it guys, that's three of the biggest conversion killers on your website, which if you can fix and put right, you will see your conversion rate and your leads and sales from your site skyrocket. If you got value from the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this on a weekly basis. And I will speak to you again very soon.